Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Yeah. Oh, we pray in the holy name of the Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Goodbye, baby. Goodbye. I'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you clap your hands and celebrate Jesus at this moment of service? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the creator and the sustainer of everything. Yeah. Hallelujah. That sister Wentworth has been translated into another language. Known to be absent from this body is to be present with Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Such an example of love and dedication to see Sister Rumber as a see Deacon Rumber and I must say thank you for being the example and dedicating yourself not just to the most high but to each other. We greet you in the name that is above every name and that name is Jesus. We say grace and peace to all of you. We're going to continue with our celebration this wonderful moment. And we will begin with a hymn of adoration, Amazing Grace, transitioning to our sacred scripture readings by the Reverend Dr. Helen Skiles, First Lady Emeritus of First Baptist Church on Apple Street. She will be reading the Old Testament scripture. Then the Reverend Dr. Queen Cat will be reading our New Testament scripture, followed by the prayer of comfort by our very own Deacon Carlton Moore. We will receive him in that order. Oh. 
His word is nothing. <clears throat> it simply says the Lord is yeah. my shepherd. Yeah. Not shall not want. Mm -hmm. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Yeah. Yeah. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Yeah. Oh, he restores my soul. Yeah. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah. And yea, though I walk through the valley and the yes. shadow of death, yes. I will fear no evil, no evil, for thou art with me. Yep. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Mm -hmm. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Mm -hmm. Thou anointest my head with oil, yeah. and my cup runneth over. Surely. But the last verse says, surely. Surely, yeah. mm -hmm. surely goodness and mercy yeah. Yeah. shall yeah. follow me. <clears throat> All the days of my life, and I will. I need to say that again, and I will. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Be confident in the word. Amen. Bless you. Amen. Bless you. Thank the Lord. Thank you. To the family. Of Sister Roberta, she was like a very dear friend, her her daughter, and it made me just cling to her as well. Mm -hmm. And I was talking with um, uh, Deacon this morning, and he asked me to um, read something that he had been browsing through, and he saw something that she had been and she loved uh, in the Book of Romans. Yes, and so I am going to share that with you and think of her. As I share this with you, amen. The spirit of God within you. This is Romans chapter 8, and I will read a few verses because we need to reflect on her, what she uh, enjoyed reading. There is therefore now no condemnation yes, yes. to them that are in Christ Jesus, uh -huh. who walk not after the flesh, yes. but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and yes, death. Yes. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, weak through the flesh, but sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin. Condemnation, condemnation, sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled mm -hmm. in us mm -hmm. who walk not after the flesh mm -hmm. but after the spirit for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh mm -hmm. but they that are after the spirit the things mm -hmm. of the spirit mm -hmm. hallelujah mm -hmm. for to be carnally minded is death mm -hmm. but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. 
but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Yeah. Mm. If so, be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Now, if any man, any man, any man, any man have not the spirit of yes. Christ, uh -huh. he is none of his. Well, uh, God's word to God's people, and I pray that it will conquer the family. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. To the Gamble family, Sister Roberta loved each and every one of us. And she shared that love. You can find comfort in Noah that she was steadfast and moving, always abiding in the order. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come before you, Lord, the hearts of sadness and we come by asking Father for strength for his family. We ask Father for love. We ask Father to share that love over each member of the family. For she leaves behind those very, very, very precious, precious memories. And how they linger. How they ever bless our souls. Let us show that love, Father, by living, oh God, the life that is pleasing in God's sight. That He might say, well done, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Yeah. You fought a good fight. Yeah. And the battle is not over. Yeah. But that crown, that crown of righteousness. We look for that crown. We work for that crown. And we give her that crown. Our Father who art in heaven. Our Father who loved us enough to send his only begotten Son. My yeah. strength in that. And as we walk each day of our lives, let us look into him. Yeah. Yeah. For his name has brought us up all our way. And he didn't bring us this far enough to me. Thank you, Father, for this family. We ask Father for strength in them. Yeah. Give them what they need, oh God, to go on. What we realize is we live on the day to day, yeah. if you have promised that yeah. far along the way. Be with us, be with them, yeah. God. God them. Let them know, God, the walk is a closer, a closer, a closer walk with you. And when we're gone tonight, mile of the way, we can find strength at the close of that day. Thank you for the joy. Oh, that joy, that quiet, that joy is a waste of when we go the last mile of the way. Be with this man in a very special way. That they can always look to you. And let them guide. That you be guided by them. Be with them. And strengthen them. And give up what they need and go from day to day. Yeah. But we realize our day, our day, our day, are all in yeah. your hands. Yeah. We know that you hold all the future in your hands. Yeah. Thank you for bringing us all along the way. Strengthen them, strengthen them, strengthen them. Give them the love and the glory. Be with them in Jesus' precious name. I do ask for strength for them while I look to you. Jesus' name, I Jesus' Amen. 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 On behalf of the officers and the leadership of First Baptist, the First Baptist family, we want you all to know that we are, in fact, praying for you. During this time, mm -hmm. we are going to prepare our hearts and our minds for a selection from First Baptist Mail Force, and then we'll have acknowledgments from the family, family tribute, Mrs. Nakisha Graves and Mrs. O. Marie Leaf. Did I say that right? And then <coughs> church resolution will be done by Deacon Henry Richardson. 
and selection from Minister Sean Woods. And then we will have the message of hope from the pastor of the Sassafras Grove Missionary Baptist Church, Yanceyville, North Carolina. The Reverend Gary L. Williams. Will you write in that order? Please come. Amen. <clears throat> there are no men of Bell Corps members here. All the men just come up and we're going to make something up. Let's see the temptation salad. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Just so closer, walk with me. Right. Just a closer walk with me. Just a closer walk with me. Friend, friend in Jesus, if you please. Just a closer walk with me. Just a closer walk with me. Hey, me walking close to thee. Thank you for being my second mom. 
Thank you for being my second mom. Thank you for diaper changes. Thank you for pulling mothballs out of my nose. Thank you for picking me up when I ran away from school. Thank you for breakfast. I never really understood why my eggs never tasted like yours. I'm sure it was the cast iron pan or maybe just the flick of your wrist as you poured. Thank you for letting me indulge in your soap operas with you when I got home from school. The truth is I really just enjoyed spending time with you. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me that I was a child mm -hmm. and telling me to mind my business. <laughs> this is the little things that leave the best imprint. Yeah. Thank you for teaching me how to make my first pound cake in your, of course, your signature mac and cheese. Thank you for letting me help you prepare Thanksgiving dinner, even though everybody was always late. But I made sure I sat my plate next to you so I could enjoy those sweet moments when you talked about the family. I can only imagine what you said about me. <laughs> Thank you for gifting me with my pajamas at Christmas. I didn't even have to make a wish list because I knew what I was getting. Thank you for making sure you always called me on my birthday. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for your last. Thank you for your love. And I thank you in advance for watching over me from above. And of course, for talking about your job. Thank you, Drew. On behalf of 
Deacon Willie Howard, mm -hmm. chairman of our Deacon Board. He would want you to know that he sends his deepest sympathies. Mm -hmm. He is away on travel. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, we be here to share with you in this time of loss. We, members of the Deacon Board, want to express our condolences as well mm. and let you know if there's anything mm. that we can do for you and this family. Mm. We are certainly here for you. I have before me two resolutions to read. So if you would bear with me, I will read from Sassafras Grove Baptist Church, Church Resolution of Respect for Sister Roberta Petit Rembrandt. Mm -hmm. No matter what your trials are or how your mountain seems, the Lord is there to see you through. Mm -hmm. He'll go to all extremes. So if your cross seems hard to bear, and you know not what to do. The one who loves you most of all is there to see you through. <clears throat> we, the members of Sassafras Grove Baptist Church, would like the River family to know that our hearts are with you as we gather to be a Christian farewell to Sister Roberta mm -hmm. Petit Rembrandt. We know she will be deeply missed by all. However, we do rest in knowing that we shall see her again. Amen. And that earth has no sorrow. No earth sorrow. Has no. That heaven <laughs> cannot heal. That's right. Whereas the passing of our beloved sister Rembrandt is the will of God. And there is a human tie that has been broken, which leaves our heart in agony and pain. Mm -hmm. Yet we are encouraged and consoled by the words of Christ Jesus who said, mm -hmm. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Therefore, be it resolved that we embrace the family of this wonderful soldier because of a common bond that connects us all throughout eternity. We can never replace the loss of Sister Rimmer, but we will attempt to demonstrate our sincere love to you. Be it further resolved that we know your loss is deep and your sorrow is heavy. But we want you to know that we share in your sorrow. But most importantly, we recognize that this loss is heaven's gain. Mm -hmm. In case there's a time when you just need some cheer, in case there's a problem you would like us to hear, in case there's a favor you would like us to do, we're here if you need us to help see you through. <laughs> Humbly submitted on this day, the 5th of December, 2022, the Sassafras, Sassafras Grove Baptist Church family, Reverend Gary W. Williams, Senior Pastor. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Church Resolution, First Baptist Church on Apple Street, or Sister Roberta Rembrandt, whereas Sister Roberta Rembrandt, along with her family, moved to this area from Bridgeport, Connecticut in October 2001. And shortly thereafter, they became faithful members of the First Baptist Church, 508 Alpha Street, Burlington, North Carolina. Whereas Sister Rembrandt was previously a member of Messiah Baptist Church in Bridgeport. She served there with enthusiasm, leadership, and wisdom. Mm -hmm. Likewise, after becoming a member of First Baptist Church, she became active in several church ministries. Sister Rembrandt's work on the election board was noted by her welcoming smile as members entered the church. She made each person feel at ease when they entered the church doors. Visitors were made welcome by her as she showed them to their seats. Sister Rembrandt was active in the women's ministry and the seniors' ministry, where she was always ready to offer a hand in new initiatives and special projects. Her objective was to assist where needed to those who were in the greatest need. 
both physically and spiritually. She possessed and used her God-given gifts and talents to reach out to those in need. Sister Roberta attended Bible study and Sunday school regularly. Her interest in learning more about the Word of God was evident in her attendance so that she could spread the Word to others. Sister, Sister Roberta Bremer cared for people and showed love. Not because we are perfect, but because Jesus gave his life while we were yet sinners. Amen. Amen. There was never a time when you met Sister Rembrandt when she did not greet you with a present expression on her face. Her peaceful smile gave comfort to all that she met. <clears throat> Family was a very important focus of her life. She had a special love for her husband, William, as well as for her children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Mm -hmm. She never lost her hope. <clears throat> she never lost her joy. She never lost her faith. Mm -hmm. But most of all, she never <clears throat> lost her praise. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be it resolved that Sister Rembrandt had a Christian and loving spirit and exhibited great faith in God as she lived her life Letting the Lord lead her every day of that life. Mm -hmm. Psalms 26, 1 through 3, from the King James Version reads, Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. Mm -hmm. I have trusted also in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I shall not slide. Mm -hmm. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart, for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. Psalms chapter 26, verses mm -hmm. 1 through 3. Given this day, the fifth day of December, 2022, Reverend Dr. John Robertson II, Senior Pastor, First Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. Oh! 
Jesus Christ, the Son, to the Spirit of the Lamb of God, Amen. to the great pastor of First Baptist Church, Dr. Robinson, to this collection of hurlers of this great gospel, and to his family Amen. of this wonderful soldier. Thank you, Lord. During this most difficult and dark moment in this time of despair, there is nothing that comforts us and soothes us quite like the Word of God. Amen. Amen. For that, we turn to the book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 13, which reads, Blessed are the dead that die in the Lord. From henceforth, yea, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor and their works do follow them. The homegoing celebration for my good friend, Sister Roberta Rembrandt. I want to preach a few moments from the subject. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Be happy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't worry. All right. Be happy. It was 1932. During the presidential election of one Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who overwhelmingly won and defeated one Mr. Hoover for the presidency of the United States. And because of his fame and popularity, the Democratic Convention and the parties they nominated as their theme song, Happy Days Are Here Again. Y'all know the lyrics. Happy days are here again. The sky above is clear again. Let us sing a song of cheer again. Happy days are here again. One would thought because of the overwhelming popularity of one by the name of Franklin Roosevelt, who was a four-term president, that everyone shared in that happiness. But this was to the contrary, you see, because although some was happy, 
Some refuse to ever carry a dime in their pocket because it had his face on that dime. Happiness, what is it about that word happy that conjures such a contrast? Well, I found out, Pastor, that that word happy is a relative term. What makes some happy doesn't make everybody else happy. When you have some that are happy when the summer months come, but then some can't wait to the crisp weather feel. Some are happy when the sun is shining brightly in the sky. But then there are those that are happy most when it is raining and drizzling. There are those that are happy when the cowboys win. <laughs> then for those of us who have their sense, <laughs> we're happy when they get destroyed. <laughs> but I assure you on today, when it comes to that harsh yet stark reality known as death, I can't find my brothers and sisters a whole lot to be happy about. Come on, sir. It's not happy feelings to endure what you're doing and going through right now. It's not a good feeling to feel the anguish and the despair and the grief and sorrow that death so enough can bring. Even Christ Jesus in John chapter 11, outside of his friend Lazarus' tomb, the word of God said that Jesus wept. Death can cause us anything but happiness. But as I look at this particular scripture, the writer of the gospel, the revelation of Jesus Christ that John the apostle John the brother of James John the son of Zebedee John the one known as Boanerges the son of, of thunder John who was exiled to that island of Patmos somewhere around AD 91 by the then emperor of the, the Roman province called Domitian he was the one who wrote something the words that he wrote were blessed are the dead now I had to take a look at that word blessed my brothers and sisters because in the Greek that word blessed is the word makurios and what does it mean it means happy it means fortunate. It means well-being. So you are saying blessed or happy are the dead. My Lord. Now, how can one be happy in death? How can the dead be happy? Well, you can't stop right there, my brothers and sisters, because you have to read on further because it says, blessed or happy are the dead who die in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah, it takes someone a different meaning. It takes someone a different connotation because what are you saying, preacher? How can one be in the Lord? Well, Sister Roberta Rembert was in the Lord. Now, how does one be in the Lord? Well, I got to tell you, see, in order for you to be in the Lord, you got to, first of all, know who the Lord is. Yeah. Uh, know him for yourself. It's yeah, not yeah. what mama conveyed or yeah, daddy yeah. conveyed or grandma, granddaddy. No, you have to know he is the Christ. The son of the living God. Are oh, y'all gonna help me in here? Right. Sister Roberta knew Jesus Christ as the Lamb of God. And in doing so, 
she was in Christ. Uh -huh. Knew that he suffered, bled, and died on a Roman cross. Knew that he went in a borrowed tomb, but also knew he didn't stay there. Why? Because he got up one morning with all power of heaven and earth in his hand. Sister Roberta was in Christ. Uh -huh. yes, when he was her personal sin. Uh -huh. yeah. right. Now I knew this about Sister Roberta. You see, she didn't talk a lot. She's a quiet woman. Mm -hmm. And she deferred all of the talking most of the time to her husband named Will. <laughs> One, because she didn't mind deferring, and two, because he was good at it. <laughs> but when I saw them, and it was some time that I left First Baptist, but I would see them at the gym, at the Edge Fitness Center together, and they were a dynamic duo. Yeah. Why? Because they were together in spirit. They were together in all facets. And they didn't mind if the conversation came up to talk about various things. But Sister Roberta was quick to let you know that Jesus, hallelujah, was her personal Savior. Didn't mind sharing Christ. Whether she was on the treadmill. All right. Or just perusing around that gym. I, 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 I looked at this scripture and it said, Blessed are the dead that die mm -hmm. in the Lord. Now, when you die in the Lord, that's good news. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, it's sir. different from dying and not. Knowing who Jesus is, is different from dying and not have borne your burden in the heat of the day. It's a whole lot different when you die and Jesus is not your Savior. It's different, my brothers and sisters. When you die and don't know where you go. Amen. Amen. But it's good to know yes, sir. when the Lord said, I go. To prepare a place for you. Uh, the word prepare, my brothers and sisters, the word and it means to make ready, to get an arrangement. And I like that you see my brothers and sisters, but I say this all the time. See, if you come to my house and you want something to eat, and I say, well, I don't know, I may have some beady weenies and crackers over here for tide you over. But see, if I know you're coming, I can get things like you like. And you see, I can't prepare for you if I don't know you come. But you see, Sister Rimber was prepared. Uh -huh. And God Thank knew you. she was coming. Uh -huh. yes, sir. Now it says these words now. Hence for. Uh -huh. That means from now on. Uh -huh. Say it the spirit. Uh -huh. That they may rest. Uh -huh. From their labor. And see, we understand that terminology, labor, to mean work. Uh -huh. When we labor, we work. But that word labor means that they may rest from their toil, from their anguish, from their despair. And my brothers and sisters, we've had enough of that already. Come on, sir. If you live each and every day, you're going to go through some toil. You're going to go through some snares. You're going to go through some anguish. Yeah. You're going to catch some hell yeah. in this earthly body. Am I talking to somebody today? Yeah. Yeah. But 
those times now have passed for Sister Roberta. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Because not only is she going to rest from her labor, but I believe she got some rewards just by doing what she was doing daily by ushering in this place known as First Baptist and being part of the missionary circle and letting somebody know that Jesus Christ was her son. So she's resting now from that labor. But get this family. And this is where I hope you are encouraged. And it said that her works mm -hmm. will follow her. Amen. You see, this network marketing sometimes that we get into, if we get up to a certain level, we get what is called residual income. All right. That means after we stop working, yes. we still getting a check. Yes. And Sister Roberta, because of her legacy with you, is still going to be getting a check. Because she was an example of a godly woman, an example of a servant of the cross, an example of someone who followed the dictates. Now she has passed that on to you. And every time you walk in accordance to the word of God, she's going to be handed a check. Every time that you pass on that she was the woman of virtue, somebody's going to be getting a check in glory. Every time that you share in what mama did on this side of Jordan, somebody is going to be blessed in heaven and their name is Roberta River. I need to let you know, family, don't worry. Be happy. Why? Because she said yes to the Lamb of God. Don't worry. Be happy because her toils on this side are over with. Don't worry. Somebody needs to be happy. Why? Because she has crossed over from a land of anguish, from a land of pain, from a land of despair. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Can I get somebody to agree with me today? Death has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Do I have a witness in this house? Family, don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy today. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord. Come on, brother. Yes. search of and seeking that happiness. Uh -huh. I want you to know that Jesus died on the cross for you. Yeah, that you may have the right to the tree of life. That you may experience that happiness. And if you're here, sir, you're here, ma'am, and you want to make Jesus your Lord and Savior, that you may experience that state of happiness. Everything won't be alright, but he'll teach you how to get through it. Yeah. Every head bowed, every eye closed, let's pray this prayer together. Just say, Lord Jesus, Come into my life. Be Lord and Savior of my life. I confess with my mouth. Believe in my heart. That God raised you from the dead. So today. I declare. That I am saved. Wash my heart. Cleanse my mind. Help me. To walk in happiness. All the days of my life. In your name. Jesus. Jesus, amen.
Here's the challenge. Wherever you live, that you be part of a God-fearing, Bible-teaching, Spirit-led, Christ-centered church. That you may be able to grow in your service to the Lord. That you can see Sister Roberta again. Amen. 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 We're now in the hands of our leader. At this time, we will be traveling to Alabama Memorial. For those of you who will be traveling with the family, please drive with Kahagi Mike Sonny. A four way flash is to indicate that you're a part of the procession. <clears throat> Excuse me. At this time, we'll ask everyone except the family if you would please stand. Pastors and ministers, if you would be so kind as to lead us out. Flower bearers, if you would please stand. Paul bearers, if you would please stand. Mm -hmm. 